ratings world. In the last days of Barack Obama's administration, he did all he could to continue to destroy America. The list of disgusting things Obama did before Donald Trump was inaugurated truly turned conservative America's stomach. However, there is one deal that Obama struck that may not see the light of day, and it could not happen at a better time. Over the last several months there has been an increase in terrorist activity from refugees around the world. Countries such as England, Sweden, and Germany have been regularly attacked by Islamic extremists, and there appears to be no end in sight. Instead of these countries ending these insane refugee programs that are putting citizens at risk, they continue to allow these terrorists to flood through their borders. America was facing the same dilemma under the Obama administration, as he did all he could to destroy America with sick policies. In Obama's last days of his presidency, he went into hyperdrive pushing one bad deal after another. Obama not only practically emptied terrorists out of Guantanamo Bay, but he also was busted giving $418 million of weapons to Kenya. Another one of those bad deals Obama made in his last days of office was when he decided to fast track thousands of rejected Muslim refugees into America. The covert deal was hammered out by then Secretary of State, John Kerry who did his best to try and bring these refugees to America ahead of schedule. Can you guess where all these refugees hailed from? You guessed it, terrorist hotbeds such as Iran, Somalia, Iraq, Afghanistan, and Sudan. Now, President Trump seems to be pumping the brakes on this insane deal, and you can be sure the left will lose their minds. Here is a report from Reuters. US. Officials interviewing refugees held in an Australian runoff shore detention center left the facility abruptly, three detainees told Reuters on Saturday, throwing further doubt over a plan to resettle many of the detainees in America. US. Officials halted screening interviews and departed the Pacific island of Nauru on Friday, two weeks short of their scheduled timetable and a day after Washington said the United States had reached its annual refugee intake camp. U.S. Officials, were scheduled to be on Nauru until July 26 but they left on Friday, one refugee told Reuters requesting anonymity as he did not want to jeopardize his application for U.S. resettlement. In the United States, a senior member of the union that represents refugee officers at U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, UC, a Department of Homeland Security Agency, told Reuters his own trip to Nauru was not going forward as scheduled. Jason Marks Chief Steward of the American Federation of Government Employees Local 1924, told Reuters his trip has now been pushed back and it was unclear whether it will actually happen. The UC said on Saturday that the program would continue but offered no details. We do not discuss the exact dates of UC circuit tries to adjudicate refugees' applications. However, we are planning return trips the agency said in a statement. It is not uncommon for the dates of tentatively planned refugee circuit ride trips worldwide to change due to a wide variety of factors. The Australian Immigration Department declined to comment on the whereabouts of the US. Officials or the future of a refugee swap agreement between Australia and the United States that President Donald Trump earlier this year branded a dumb deal. Australian Foreign Minister Julie Bishop said on Sunday the deal was progressing as expected, reiterating the government had assurances from the Trump administration. The quota will roll over again on October 1 as I said, and I expect that the United States will adhere to this agreement, as the President promised, she told the Australian Broadcasting Corporation. This deal should not go through no matter what and it appears from this report it is beginning to fall apart. There is no reason that we should take in these refugees at all under any circumstances. These refugees are known to be from terrorist hotspots and the last thing we need is any more terror threats.
this deal should be scrapped and let Australia deal with the crisis they have created themselves. Obama had no business making this sort of deal when he was on the way out of office. President Trump has every right to deny this shoddy deal since that is what the American people elected him to do. The days of allowing every Muslim refugee into America need to end, and right away. The only way we will be able to get our country back on track is by halting all these insane policies that liberals implemented over the years. If they want to riot because of it then so be it, they then can be arrested and sit in jail for their own terrorist activities. It is now the time that we close our borders until further notice, and if the left doesn't like it, well, there is the door.